Well, it's day six of the heat wave and stifling temperatures make it hard to stay out in the sun, but imagine how hot it can get as the characters at Dutch Wonderland. News 11's Sarah Bronis explains how they handle the heat. It's one of the most wonderful places in Lancaster County, and today it's one of the hottest. Well, it's been hot here like everywhere else. Here at Dutch Wonderland, classic characters like Duke the Dragon, the Princess, and the Knight of Safety call the castle their home. And during this heat wave, keeping them cool is a top priority. We try to rotate into air conditioned space. We let people have rest and cool down time. So whether it's Duke, the Knight, the Princess, or somebody working a ride, we treat them all the same. Try to keep an eye on them, keep them hydrated, and keep them cool. Sir Brandon, the Knight of Safety, is dressed in long sleeves and pants during these 90 degree days. It's not always cool being a knight, but he often retreats from the heat. We take a nice half hour break after every performance to cool off. We make sure to drink plenty of water. It's important to stay hydrated. If you think being a knight gets hot, Duke the Dragon swelters under the sun, but he handles the heat with the help of AC. He'll stay out in the park for about 10 minutes and then he'll go back into his area where it's nice and cool to, to cool off. And guests at Dutch Wonderland, they also can keep cool at numerous attractions, but perhaps the best place, front row at the dive show. In the front row, it felt good to get splashed because it was really hot. It's really hot and you just feel like you want to just pour a whole bucket of water on you. And so that felt really good. <laughs> But if getting splashed isn't your idea of fun, try the Polar Plunge, Duke's Lagoon, or a spot in the shade. We have a lot of mature trees, a lot of nice park benches under the shade, so there's plenty of places for people to get out of the sun. In Lancaster, Sarah Veronis, News 11.